Folks, I don't know if you pay attention to the news. I do sometimes. We are about to reach a major milestone in the presidential race. Tomorrow, we will be just one month away from being just one year away from the 2016 election. <laughs> and even though technically the election hasn't really begun to begin, we know powerful people are leaving office, and I wouldn't want to be one of the politicians out there trying to replace them. Because the cameras are always on these fellas, okay? People are just waiting for them to slip up so they can make fun of them on their late-night comedy shows. What a bunch of jerks. <laughs> and unlike politicians, I got it easy. Sure, there are a lot of cameras pointed at me all the time around here, but if I make a mistake, we can just always <laughs> it. I mean, fix it. <laughs> Damn it. I am so angry I could punch a nun. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, uh, let's, let's edit that out, please, okay? And keep, keep any nuns away from me for a while. <laughs> the point is, candidates out there may not always mean what they say, but so what? We're not mind readers in the public. We can only guess at what they mean by what comes out of their mouths. Take, for example, Jeb. <laughs> Latest polls have him in fifth place at 8%, which means all he needs to win the nomination is in the next debate for the stage to collapse. <laughs> the odds makers in Vegas, the smart guys, have Jeb as the odds on favorite at two to one, which is pretty good, especially if that casino is owned by Donald Trump. <laughs> so what Jeb needs to do is clinch this thing by clearly articulating to the American people what kind of leader he'll be. And this weekend, when asked about school shootings, he either misspoke or gave us a hint. It's very sad to see, but I, I resist the notion, and I did, I, ha I had this, this challenge as governor, because we had, look, stuff happens. Now, in the face of tragedy, the phrase stuff happens seems a bit cavalier, and I believe it would be a bold choice at a funeral. I'm so sorry for your loss, and I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, stuff happens. <laughs> now, in fairness to Governor Bush, this did come at the end of a long conversation where he had already expressed his horror and dismay about the shootings in Oregon. But it's what he said next about school shootings that was much more interesting. Look, stuff happens. There's always a crisis. And the impulse is always to do something, and it's not necessarily the right thing to do. That's leadership. Not necessarily doing anything. Follow me, everyone. Where are we going? Right where we are. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Let's go where near that stuff. Now, it really reminds me of John F. Kennedy's famous words. Ask not what your country can do for you. Also, don't ask what you can do for your country. Just kind of chillax for a bit. Maybe things will work themselves out. The point is, Jim Bush clearly has all the advantages that a candidate could want and should be doing way better. But when he says things like that, after 142 school shootings since Sandy Hook, it sounds like he's got, how can I put this delicately? Stuff for brains. <laughs> but Jeb's not alone in having trouble expressing his case for leadership. As you know, John Boehner is stepping down as Speaker of the House and riding off into the sunset, <laughs> which I think is how his face got that color in the first place. <laughs> and Speaker Boehner's likely replacement is House Majority Leader and your friend's dad forcing you to go to church with them, Kevin McCarthy. <laughs> McCarthy's got plenty of support in Congress, so he's got the House part down. But apparently, he's still working on the Speaker. Today, to have a minority group within one party to say you cannot have a debate, you cannot have a vote on the bill, is in too important. And today is the day that we should really look to and the pressure mount to actually let the people have a say. Strong English-like words. Today is in too important the day that should really look to and the pressure mount. <laughs> if not, who? Now, I'm not sure what any of that means, but I am sure it means just as much as this foreign policy speech he gave last week. We must engage this war of radical Islam if our life depended on it.
because it does. We don't have the same as difficult decision, but this White House is managing the decline and putting us in tough decisions for the future. In the past few years alone, I have visited Poland, Hungary, Estonia, Russia, and Georgia. Wow, that guy is well-traveled. Hopefully, his experience in Hungary will allow him to finally broker a peace treaty with Narnia. Now, some people... Now, some people say McCarthy's trouble in expressing his vision of leadership, or anything else, <laughs> makes him disqualified to be Speaker of the House. But to them, I say, my fellow Americans, long before times have we faced great challenges of this nation, but America is anything if not a land from opportunity. <laughs> of the Speaker and the House, Kevin McCarthy wants to rise that opportunity and let every mouth speech as one. It's the circle of life, and it moves us all. Because without a brave leadership, America won't be left behind. I believe it was Ronald Reagan who said, Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> and those are words are still are true today. Thank you. May God thank America, and hello.